how to achieve mastery in literally any field or endeavor that you choose to be in. Hi everyone, this is Mario Singh and I'm going to be sharing with you the exact three steps on how to achieve mastery in any field. I'm going to kick off with a story just for you. So legend has it that Pablo Picasso, one of the world's greatest painters, all right, he was, at the, he was sitting under a bridge in Italy, minding his own business, doing some of his artwork. A lady recognized him, ran towards him and said, you're Pablo Picasso, could you please draw a portrait of me? Picasso looked at her, one glance, one pencil stroke, and he finished drawing the entire portrait in one minute. He handed it, the painting to the lady, she looked at it and she said, that's amazing, that looks exactly like me. How much do I owe you? She wanted to pull out $50. You know what Picasso said? He said, ma'am, that would cost you $5,000. And she was in shock. She said, what? It just took you a minute to draw that. And Picasso said, ma'am, it didn't take me one minute. It took me a lifetime. Mastery takes years and years and years for you and I to actually perfect any art. In his very famous book called Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell actually said, if you want to be achieving mastery in any field, you literally have to be spending about 10,000 hours perfecting your craft. Now, I've got my own definitions of what I term as mastery, so I'm going to be drawing for you a circle. Now, if I put mastery in the center, essentially there are three phases for you to be achieving mastery, all right? The three are learning, earning, and creating. And let me go through that one by one. So they are all in different phases. If you want to break it down and achieve mastery, and if you are serious about achieving mastery in either business building or entrepreneurship or literally any endeavor that you want, you have to be paying attention to these three phases, starting with L called learning. Now, I was a trader many years ago and using my own personal experience, right? I had to learn everything that I needed to know about the financial markets. I needed to know the platform I was trading. I needed to know certain knowledge, what it means to be having an uptrend or a downtrend. And I became fairly successful in the entire trading world. Now, beyond that, when I started building businesses, I also had to learn things from scratch, friends. I needed to know how exactly do you start a business? How do I solve a market need? What are the things that I need to be doing day in and day out of successful entrepreneurs? So this is what I term as the learning phase. In fact, Robert Greene, who wrote the book called Mastery, he started the book by saying this, you need to do two things. You need to be discovering your calling. And number two, interestingly enough, he said, you need to be submitting to reality. What that means is that you need to be starting literally from ground zero. If you don't know anything about the endeavor that you are embarking on, then that is the reality for you. This is when you start the L phase or the learning phase. Now, in the learning phase, you are essentially moving from what I term as unconscious incompetence let me write this down to conscious competence i'm sorry conscious incompetence so what let, let me let me break it down for you learning moves you from unconscious incompetence a state of you don't know what you don't know to a state of conscious incompetence, meaning to say, I know now what I don't know, so I need to be getting the right knowledge in that endeavor for me to be growing. You're hungry for knowledge in this aspect. You're looking for mentors to help you, audio books, or even any eBooks, any resource and information that can help you on this phase one called learning. Once you are done with that and you have certain confidence of what it takes for you to be achieving certain level of success in your field, you are now moving to stage two of what I term as earning. Earning moves you from conscious incompetence to conscious competence, meaning to say you have now earned the right. You're starting to see certain results of whatever you are creating. 
So in that aspect, once you are moved from conscious incompetence to conscious competence, you're starting to see certain results. As a trader for me, I was starting to earn some real money. Whether or not I was trading the uptrend or downtrend, I was making profits in my trading account. When I started running a business and in the first one or two years, I was basically making losses in some of the startups that I was heading. But as I got better, as I earned the right to become a real entrepreneur, all my negative losses in the business world was starting to turn into positive profits. I was moving from the red into the black. Now, this is the stage that most entrepreneurs actually get stuck in simply because they've had certain results in the earning phase. They don't move from earning to creating. Now, let me define exactly what I mean when I say creating. It doesn't really mean creating new businesses. What I mean is creating consistent results again and again and again and again. Now, once you find something that works, if you are in the earning phase, you have to be creating consistent results again and again and again. And this is where, friends, you actually complete the entire mastery cycle. I had a friend who actually asked me once, he said, Mario, what happens once I reach creating consistent results again and again? Do I stop there? The answer is no. You still move on to a new learning phase. You're learning new things about your craft and then you are moving in the entire circle once again. You see, mastery is an ever-expanding circle. Once you have created consistent results, you learn about your new craft, you learn new things and then you're expanding it again and again. Mastery, friends, is really a lifelong commitment. I want to share with you two quotes. All right, that I feel really encapsulates and epitomizes what mastery is. One of my heroes was this Formula One Grand Prix champion called Ayrton Senna. I don't know if any of you actually remember him. Um, he had a tragic ending in the year 1994. He actually crashed the Formula One car in the 1994 San Marino Formula One Grand Prix. And sadly, he passed away then. However, Ayrton Senna had a very famous quote that at that point, I don't think he knew he was talking about mastery. You know what he said? This was his quote. When I'm driving at my best, the last thing that I'm thinking about is driving. That simply means he's moving in flow. He has moved from a place of what I term as unconscious incompetence to conscious incompetence, all right, all the way to unconscious competence. He doesn't think about it anymore. It comes to him so naturally, he doesn't even need to think. You know, friends, when you're in that stage, I have my second quote from myself that I would like to share with you right now. You will be successful simply because you do not know any other way. And this is when you have achieved mastery and you're moving in flow regardless of any endeavor or entrepreneurship initiative that you take on for yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this video. These are the three phases of learning, earning and creating of how you can be achieving mastery in any field. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next video. Hi, thank you so much for watching this video. To get access to more high quality videos that's going to supercharge and fast track your business, do click on the subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when I upload all these videos. I'll see you in the next video.